It's either going to work or it's going to be a Bomb. Tre tremendous failure. Hi guys. Say hello, Adam. Hi, how's it going? T-shirts, what T-shirts have we got on today? Sparky's, can... Sparky's Electrical Club T-shirts. Uh, big on Instagram at the moment. Got one for Dean as well, yeah. matching colours. Guess who got me this? Santa got me this. That's right. <laughs> that, that's that ugly Santa over there. That's Cheers, it. Santa. That's it. Reason for the colour, Dean? I don't know, what the reason? Reason for the colour. Dean is a uh, veteran in the armed forces. Goes with his army green. Yeah, good. I'll be having nightmares forever now. Cheers, mate. That's all right, mate. Uh, right, so what we're doing, what we've been doing today is um, we've just finished in this rewire. We've had, we've had this rewire for about a year now coming up. But as we all know, it's been COVID and all the problems that come with that. Um, so, yeah, it's taken ages to get plasters in, get the plaster, get the materials, get the tools and everything like that. So I'll just take, take around a quick what we've got and uh, see what you think. So what we got? Come here. Well, light and smoke, and then we've got a living room area. Uh, it's all nicely decorated. Socket down there. TV socket and um, points for for TV. Second point for TV where it's incoming. Um, that's the end of radial, and also at some point in the future. The customer's going to want to put some sort of conservatory or something out there. So what we've done is we put that as end of radio, then they can either run it into there or they can have an outdoor socket down there at some point. Uh, yeah, another socket down there, socket down there. And this is all stud wall. Um, it used to be running through to the kitchen. I can't remember now. I think, I think it was running straight through to the kitchen. I can't remember. But we had walls knocked down here, uh, RS Jack at the top there. And we've got a cooker island in the middle. Cooker island in the middle. And boiler in here, patio. And lovely little lights there, all lined up nice and a row. As always, we like to make sure it's all nice and a row. Uh, you will see holes there. But that's, You've got, you've got the plaster's going to come back and uh, fix them because he went very straight when he uses the measure. Undercovered light in, can you see that? We've got the X light lights with a Wago box on the end there. A nice little socket, and that's all run off this four gang switch over there. So, what we've got, we've got four lights. So, we've got one, two, Three and under covered is four. They're obviously not final yet because it needs to be um, lowered down to the same levels. We just left them like that for decorating. Got back room here. This is going to be another bedroom. Right in the middle, uh, one, two, three sockets um, and an ensuite shower toward it. There we go, that's, that's not my job, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, light fitting up there is out of zones because it's over 2.25 meters high. Uh, perfectly fine IP44 fitting, I think. And you've got three light switches here. So you've got one for the room here, one for the bathroom, and then you've got an outside light just above that window over there. Kitchen. The customer wanted a um, fridge socket on its own circuit, so that's what we've done there. Fridge socket, and then you've got Different things going on, going in there. You got uh, what was that washing machine? I think washing me washing machine, dryer, and uh, dishwasher. I think something I can't remember. It's something like that. Socket here, high socket for microwave on some um, what are they called shelves. Consuming it under there. Don't block. It's a mess. Um, so what we've done here is um, there, there weren't a really good place where we could run the cables uh, within the zones. So as we all things, we uh, check the regs. And if you if it's like almost impossible to run cables in zones, what you can do is 
if you run it outside the zones and you can put it, I think it's three mil sheet steel. So what we've done is we've run the cables here. And it's basically going down to, to up and that picks up the un, under, upstairs floorboards and that um, runs cables for the lights, sockets and all that. Uh, yeah, so we channeled the, the hole there. We put some sheet steel over the top of it. I think it's three mil, whatever it is, we uh, don't answer the regulations. I can't, just, can't just remember what it was now. And then upstairs bathroom, extracts fan going in, uh, bath, shower, um, light, no other electrical things in here. Bedroom, socket, 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 that socket's in the radio, that's, that's what we're doing, testing. Pretty much done testing now, just got to do some live testing. Uh, light and light switch. Let's go along here. Uh, upstairs, light fit in, two way switching, and it's all there. And what we've done is I followed what Nick Bundy done. So you've got your two way light switch in there, but I've carried a neutral from the, um, from the ceiling rows. So that's your neutral if you ever need or ever want to put in smart switching you need neutral you've got your neutral there so let's see how it goes i don't think i'll use that in the future because it's just a bit a bit too difficult trying to work from um ceiling rows it's just really awkward so you've got socket 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 one on the right is spurred from one on the left uh, this is going to be an office light light switch and over here we have a uh, unswitched fuse and that's to power the ring camera that's from the outside there. All of our cables come up, that's the bottom of the stairs just under there and they come up under there and they, they go around under here and wherever. In his back bedroom, socket, high socket for TV, uh, nothing over there. Socket over there, socket over there. So this is a bed, bed's gonna go in the middle and I think these were USB sockets. Light in the middle and uh, light switch. These ones, we um, the lights we moved to the middle because some of you might know, some of the apprentices and that won't know, but the lights previously were right at the front of the house, like right back there, right next to the window. And if, in theory that was to stop people to sit behind and see him. I don't know if it works. But yeah, so we repositioned all the lights into the middle and it's quite an easy install. The seams are ripped down. Um, I think they were asbestos actually as well. So we had to wait for all that. So there's another delay on the um, install. Uh, that's pretty much it. So let's run down to the kitchen. We'll see what Adam's been doing. See how he's um, connects up the cooker. So Adam, what have you been doing? So what have we been doing today? So we've got SWA that comes through from the consumer unit in there, yep. which is channeled under the floor. There's a channel just there. Under there, so it goes underneath the island yep. uh, that the customer's got. Through, uh, through the kickboard there. Yep, yeah, so we've got access to it through the kickboard there. Can you see that? Um, like, you, like you just mentioned. And what we've done is, we had quite a bit of a chat about the easiest way yeah. uh, with obviously within the regs to connect it up and what we decided would be best for this install is we have the SWA running into a whisker box, uh, Wago's connected so the feed's coming into the whis uh, whisker box, feed is uh, feeding the uh, cooker here so we're going to put some, uh, well we've got the, I think it's 6mm uh, flex coming from the cooker that we're going to connect into these Wagos here. Then we have a 6mm twin and earth feed that's uh, going to this socket here. So as you can see, we've connected that there. Now the reason we've got uh, a socket here, double socket, is because we've got a plug top for the cooker ignition, which we're going to be using, and the second socket is going to be used for the uh, this fancy island. Where is it? Um, I think we've been burgling it. It was a status place. <laughs> it's a ransack. Yeah. So this lovely uh, power port uh, socket that comes out of the um, wooden tabletop. So that's why we've gone for 
uh, those options mounted onto this chipboard, which is going to be placed um, in this nice little crevice, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Under there. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. Yeah. So you can easily get to it if you need to change fuses or. Yeah, see any problems or anything. And of course it's fused down. Well done on that um, SWA cooker circuit. Good mate. Good. Thank you. So, what I was saying earlier, and I've said this to Adam before, um, what you'll find is usually apprentices, and Adam's apprentice is still learning, so be easy on him, take it easy on Even him. Even though I look old. Yeah, he's, he's um, a <laughs> very mature apprentice. Um, yeah, apprentices usually get given the menial tasks, um, drilling, drilling corals. Mm -hmm. He loves that though. Love it. Um, job. You know, doing your, fixing your sockets, things like that. Um, silly little jobs apprentices usually get. And it's all part and parcel, but what I like to do with Adam is I'll give him a job that is, um, stress him a little bit, you mm -hmm. know, let him think like that. He just done a cooker. I terminated a cooker SWA into a whisker box um, and just thinking about what the best way to do it. As I was saying with Adam, there's always, there's, there's usually more than one way of doing something. Mm -hmm. And both both can be right, you know, but th there's always a different way of doing it. And it, if you do it that way, someone's going to say, oh, what are you doing that way, that way for? It's wrong. And what you'll see is the regs are very gray they're not like black and white this how this how it has to be done blah blah, blah. they give you a, a guidelines of how it should be done because don't forget for you um college guys out there it is a what do we call the regulations book is it statutory or non-statutory so the regs bs 7671 is um non-statutory which means which means that it is um legally binding but it's not enforced by law but if you follow the regs, you are basically implicitly following the law. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it's saying. It's saying, so there's all these big professors and doctors of electric. And there's more than one doctor electric, you know. Um, <laughs> no, there's, electric. <laughs> there's all these big wigs have got together and des designed this, these big regs books and they come together every few years, change mm -hmm. the regs and change the colour. You get charged 80 quid plus a course to change the front of a cover mm -hmm. uh, to a different color. Um, so they come together and they say, oh, this is this is a new regs and this is how it should be done, blah, blah. But it's, yeah, as I said, it's never black and white. It's always very sketchy mm -hmm. what is right and what's wrong. Yeah. Um, but you'll, you'll find that as you go through your it's, it's not got career. more seems to be guidance. I mean, we're talking, yeah. weren't we, about um, bathroom zones the other day. Zone zero, when we're talking about whether you have to screw the um, fitting on to access something underneath. Yeah, what what you're on about is, so zone, zone zero, in, on the bath, zone, zone zero is in the bath. So like, your mm -hmm. bath water is zone zero, mm -hmm. basically. So under the bath. It's outside the zone. Outside the zones. Um, and theoretically, you can put a socket in there. We were discussing this the other day. Mm -hmm. You can put a socket in there. Um, but what what I like to follow, which uh, it's one of them sketchy things again. Um, you know, I'll probably put out a rig now and, uh, and have a look, but I just can't be bothered. But it's like one of them things, you can put a socket there, but it, you need to have a tool to access it. Mm -hmm. So if it's under a bath panel, you need to, if you just pull, pull off the bath panel with your hands, that's not a tool. If you have to get your screwdriver out to mm -hmm. undo it, then that's a tool. But, but then so again, we were talking about as well, taking it further, what defines a tool, weren't it? Like what yeah. kind of tool? That's a tool. That's a tool. So if I do it, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> if it. I pull it off with my hands, it's all right. <laughs> so yeah, we were saying, saying about very sketchy areas, very grey areas in the regs and all this, you've got electrical racing you've got building regs about how close you can have sockets uh -huh. next to sinks and blah 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 um and sometimes there's questions which we don't know the answers we've been doing the job for long enough and we we don't know the answers so that's when we can go to our cps provider our competent person scheme provider mm -hmm. and with i think all cps providers they they have a like a technical helpline mm -hmm. 
um, that's when you you think you just want a bit of advice really because nobody knows exactly like a black and white answer and they pretty much give you mm-hmm. uh, the black and white of it if you like um, so yeah we don't all, all know everything right what we've got to do now is we've got lovely um, socket socket um, tower that's what they're called so if you want to hold that I'll show you how, show you how it works so that bit up to I think there will be in the worktop so what you do is you just push it down there and you lift your socket you need to hold that mate, that mate. you need to then just lift it up like that and that'll be visible above the um, table and then to put it back job done and that needs to go in the center of this um, room here so about where it is now problem we've got is just move that out of the way problem we've got is you've got two worktops joined here it's, it's there that's the join going along there and we have to like so that's center that's, that's your center line that's where you want your socket to be on that line somewhere you can't do it round here because there's like loads of gubbins in the way and that and then periodically sort of about sort of here and here and here and here there's loads of little screws that hold these two um, desks together there's this one that one here if I show you it you'll have an idea what, it's, what it is oh, it's over here so if you see that down there there's loads of them along the um, worktop holding the two ends together so we've got to try and get it in between all of them let's take you into into underneath it and what we're going to do we're going to use a bit of a ferret cam and see how we get on so this is behind the cooker uh, let's see if i can get a little view in there so if you can ah there we go I'm putting on it. that's it if you look up it's really awkward i'm trying I'm, I'm literally in the void where the cooker goes so if you look up you'll see there's a couple of screws in the way and we have to try and get it between the screws and in this gap we've not got a lot of room to work with and it's one of them jobs where it's like um where it, where it's um just a one chance option otherwise we're going to be paying for a new worktop which would take all our profits for the day you've only got one shot day eight um, mile it's gone about eight miles or something. Dean De- De- uh, doesn't remember eight mile for some no. reason. No. I said he's like uh, Eminem, he's only got I'm one too young. shot. I'm too young, man. <laughs> he's only got one shot. So this is a case of uh, measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Or measure a hundred times, cut yeah, once. Yeah, I know. I'm dreading doing the first cut on this. It's going to be a nightmare. So what we've got here, we've got the stud buddy. It's mainly used for um, when you're working in uh, on ceilings things like that and stud walls what you can do is you can um, test it actually let's have a look at it on a stud wall we've got a stud wall here so what we've got in theory we've got um those of you who don't know all the print, prints and that you've got lines like studs going up up and down up and down you've got cross members which are called noggins hey <laughs> boy so yeah you've got you've got studs going up and down so this, in theory, you should be able to pick up the, um, the screws where the plaster's put, put it through the studs. So let's have a look. See how we get on. Look at that. So you know now that there's a stud going up and down all the way along there. So that you go along a little bit more. And bang, another one there. All the way along. Stud buddy. Much better than those digital ones you get. And you know, so if you, look, if you see, like you've got one there, we're coming up. One there, if you go down a bit more, but no one there, you can, you can fill it, it pulls it in, 
another one there, but it pulls the magnet, because all it is is a magnet on the bit of plastic. Another one there. Oh, it's, it might, might be across, might, might be another one there. Yeah, another one there. So you get the idea. So what we're going to do is see if we can use that theory to try and find our metal cross members. So if I run it like this firstly, let's see what we can do. Come on, fit a slight bit there. So if you remember that. Right. It's, it's weaker because the yeah. wood's thicker, isn't it? Yeah, you've got thick wood. Don't forget, you've got, you got metal screws going along here along mm -hmm. here and then there's a big bolt there so you might pick up that bolt easier mm -hmm. so let's see if we can go along i can't feel anything if i just lift it slightly it might just might be able, be able to fit it a bit better no i can't feel it try twisting it that side got a bit of, yeah, oh yeah got a bit of pull around there just, Got something here. Something there. It's like oh, it's like, it's like a pull, a slight pull. Mm -hmm. You can feel it there. Anything there? I think it's here. What we'll do as well, we'll go to our um, one of these old um, God help, to, God help us. Yeah, I know. We never use these, do we? Nope. I think it's the first time I've ever actually seen it out. So, okay, so there's nothing there. Is it, ah, yeah, so it's going where the stud buddy's gone. Yeah, so stud buddy went, it went here, didn't it? That's where the stud buddy went, and that is going pretty much bang on. So, you know, people say they're not accurate like me no you know not really accurate but there you go there are two methods detecting the same um screw let's go along a little bit so this bit here where we want to drill clear see if we get another one up here i know there's another one up here so i don't know why it's not picking it up there he is oh yeah found it yeah oh, there we... oh yeah look. there he is so that's our second one, right? So what we're saying, there and there. Right, yeah, Dean's here, he's about to make the cut. He's only got one shot, I'm eight mile, M&M. How, how much do you reckon these worktops are worth? I reckon, kitchen like this. No, just a worktop, I'm just packed the worktop and mess it up. All right, just a worktop, I would say, grand. Mate, you know what that means? If I mess this up, I don't get any lobster for a week. That's it, no Bollinger to wash it down. Bollinger, mate. No right. caviar with that. Let's go then, right. That's our hole. That's where we're gonna go. Bang on it. Let's see. Oh, mate. hole saw and the other if you don't know how to put one of these i'll show you but it it never goes right after a few times of using it i'll show you what, what happens right so you, what the idea is you 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 tighten up the screw into the the arbor into the hole saw you got these little things come through so you line them up and then you can't get it right so look it's it's jammed it right up it's it's not having it no, nah. no about what that what what it does is it sticks in the end, and what you, what you end up doing is buying like three different arbors and just leave them on there until your whole saw dies. That's what I recommend doing. So let's see if this does the job here. Go 
doing it in a bit, a bit of an angle. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 What we've got now, we've got the hole already for our um, our light, uh, so, no, not light socket tower socket tower whatever it's called uh, but now we've got to get this on the underside of the socket so it's got something to grip hold of so this is going to be fun we have no way of getting through either side front back side the only way we can do it I'm thinking is by threading this under the backboard, under the kickboard, sorry, and literally put it up from the other side with an old bit of uh, cable. Put a bit more in. You want a bit more, a bit more length? Yeah, need more length, mate. Tilt it this way a bit. My arm won't fit under. <laughs> I'll see you around. <laughs> you, you got it? You got it? Uh, yeah. Hey, clear me out. Clear out. Here we go. It's like fishing, isn't it? Literally fishing. You knocked it off of you. Can I think so? No, it's on. Oh, here we go. We got one. <laughs> this is just madness now. Fucking madness. I mean, mad do. Crikey, this is crazy. Okay. Can right, you grab that? I'm going to have a little try. I hope I don't drop it. I hope you don't as well. It's all right. You got your screws ready. So we're all ready. That's all ready to go. I'm thinking if we glue it or something, or we'll silicon it in overnight, and then screw it on the normal. <laughs> Are we actually going to do this? <laughs> um, Even if you glue it, you still got to put your hand in it later on. No, you don't. If you glue it, what I'm thinking is we can glue it and it'll, it'll set hard enough. Um, uh, that you won't need to screw it. Yeah, you won't need to screw it. But then once you put that on and screw it around enough, um, even if it comes loose a little bit, it's still going to be solid in there, if you know what I mean. I think that's the only option, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think what we do is we silicon it in and we'll tape it in overnight. So when we come in in the morning, or I come in in the morning, that we still taped on there and the silicon would have set. Mm -hmm. But the silicon won't set enough for it not to be able to move a bit. So that's what I'm thinking. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because right. there's not really any other option for fixing it, is no. there, apart from gluing it. What we decided to do in the end is, as I said, just silicon it in. I'm just about to see. Got silicon around the top there. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll just let that silicon go off. So it just hold it enough to start we can uh, screw it into the, screw that into it. Uh, so maybe tomorrow, if not, then Thursday. I'm going to come back to see how it goes. Right, we're back after we were rudely interrupted by a plier. Oh, oh, oh. I need to wash my hands. Yeah, go on, get the get the not working. <laughs> get the big wipes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, it. where were we, Adam? Oh, oh God, God, trying to just clean myself off there. So, you, <laughs> so what, what, what have you learnt today? Yeah, so, so we were saying there's more than one way of doing yeah. things. So with the SWA, um, it, it, many different ways can be the right way. Yeah. And it's what's most suitable for the job. So what we did was most suitable for this particular job, given what's going to be um, on the load end of, of the socket. So yeah, yeah it, that was probably the biggest thing. The yeah. other thing that I learned was sometimes kitchen fitters don't really think about uh, how electricians are going to fit these fancy new power port sockets and how the hell you're going to get your hands into connecting it and mm -hmm. thinking outside the box using the silicone yeah. as well things like that um so if you if you didn't watch that it might be in a different video i don't know 
what, what we decided to, we've got a lovely little pop-up socket, what we've got here. Power port, yeah. Yeah, and we cannot, right, if you look down the hole, you can't get anywhere near with any sort of tools or anything like that, because it's like a void between two. It's a no entry. Yeah. <laughs> no so entry. What, what, what we decided to do, what I thought we were doing is, uh, just silicon in in the, it's like a, um, like a like a screw nut, like a uh, on the back of, on the back of the socket. So what it does is um, it screws onto the back. Because if I show you, it would be easier. So basically, what you got is you got that's, that's your pop up socket, right? And then you got this bit here, and on the other other end of the socket under the table, you're supposed to put a nut. You're supposed to go up, go up to about here, and you sort of screw it into that. We couldn't get anywhere near getting around in, in that, so we um, decided to put a bit of silicon on the ring, uh, tape it down, let it dry overnight, maybe a couple of nights, and then uh, gently get that, um, tighten it up above, tighten the socket up above, and see how it goes. Might might work, might not work. So let's see. Got to try. Got you know, it's one option. If that fails, we'll Think so. find another way. Get a small child. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> so that, that two biggest things today um, that I've learned. I, I I mean, I'm just learning things pretty much. It needs to be every day, all the time at the moment. Um, and biggest thing, taking pride in your work as well. Doing it and. Yeah, and taking your time, not rushing it, doing a neat job so that if someone opens that whisker box or someone opens the, um, you know, the socket, they see a nice neat job in there. Because we all see, don't we? We go on Instagram, we go on yeah. YouTube, and we see the nightmares that are out there. Yeah, we do, know, don't we? Take pride, take pride yeah. in your work. Yeah, we do. Um, oh, big shadow there. Um, Got the old sock. <laughs> What is that? Mate, you need to... It's like a rabbit. It is a rabbit. It's actually a rabbit, isn't it? From Anne Summers and everything. <laughs> um, what tests have you done today, Adam? Yep, so we did um, dead testing on the SWA, so the cooker circuit. So we did R1 and R2 and insulation and resistance and we proved uh, that there was continuity um, on R1 and R2, and we also uh, proved that there was an infinite reading on insulation resistance. Yeah. So that was the cooker circuit. So what did I sort of teach you today about what, when you go to some of these old houses, they don't have an earth, so you can't do R1 and R2. That's right, yeah. So what mm -hmm. tests you can do if, if you don't have a, like you can't do an R1, R2, what test would you do? So you can do an R1 and RN. R1, RN. Okay, is, is that in the regs actually? I think it's in the regs. I'm it? sure it's in the regs. <laughs> right, so here we are, um, a couple of days later. The um, silicon is set. You can't really see that, that well, but it looks like the silicon is set, so let's see how good it is. Can we grab hold of that? Let's do it, let's see. Yeah. Moment of truth. Right, it's not coming off, it's still in there. Good, it's a good sign. You can see a set in position now. And now what we're gonna try and do is screw this. What we're gonna try and do is screw this um, thread onto that. Let's see what we can do. Moment of truth. It's gonna be like one of them one chance things. Like drilling the hole. Yeah. <laughs> it's either gonna work or it's gonna be Bomb. a tre tremendous failure. And you've only had to wait a few days as well, yeah. so. Right, so here we go. Gently, gently. Man, the truth, otherwise the customer's got a bin hole on their table. Yeah, that's it, it's gonna be a bin hole. <laughs> or a coffee cup, cup holder or something. <laughs> So what I'm trying to do is thread it into that, into the thread that's already set on there. It's gripping, isn't it? I'm not sure. No, I don't know, I'm not sure. No, it seems to be. It's not going down though, is it? Is it going down? I think so. 
Yeah. Yeah, mate, it is. Oh, I think we've... I think, well, I'm not saying uh, anything. Don't say anything, Adam. I'm not going to say a thing. I'm just smiling. Tell you what, I am well happy about that. Me too. That's good, isn't it? Proper. See, see the problem we had, and now we've sorted it. Press it down, and then. If there's anyone out oh, there who needs a fix, silicone and earth tape. I'm well impressed by, with that. Look at that. Works. So let's uh, test it now. This is how it works. Look at that. Do a, do a quick uh, ZS on it, put the light on there, you've got a little couple of um, USB ports nice. down the bottom. Test it at the furthest socket from the supply. I'm just going to do a quick loop test. See what we got. 0 0.30, bang on. Nice. Right, we're done for the day. All we've got to say is... Uh, like. Comment, share, prescribe. prescribe.